Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a horizontal navigation menu in Firework CS6 and import it into Dreamweaver. So let's go ahead and create our document, our new document. So you can do that two ways. You can go uh, to File, New, or you can do it from the Welcome menu. Create New Fireworks Document 1000 by 372 pixels per inch. Canvas color is going to be white for this video. Click OK. Now let's go to the vector area and click on the rounded rectangle tool and let's drag out our nav bar. Let's give it a style and let's go to the pointer tool and I'm going to drag that yellow node to sharpen these corners just a little bit. Now let's go back to vectors, the vector tool, and let's click on text the text tool and let's type out our links. Now this is going to end up being our overstate. So let's go ahead and drag out some guides because we're about to slice this. Good. Now let's go to our web area, click on slice tool and let's eye this best we can and right about there is good and do the same for the other three right down to here just click on that node and drag across right there and it kind of snaps I think it's set for every five pixels it'll snap okay that looks pretty good now everything is sliced the nav bar is sliced we need to get rid of the canvas area, this extra canvas area here. We have to trim that. So while everything is deselected, we go to Modify, Canvas, Trim Canvas. And for some reason, Fireworks likes to select everything after you do that. So click Away, so nothing is selected. And let's go ahead and go to File, Export. Let's go to Images Only. And let's call this Over and leave everything else as default. Click Save. Now we need to change the uh, upstate. So we go back to the web area, hide slices and hotspots, select the nav bar, just the nav bar, not the text, just the nav bar, and select the style. We'll do purple for this one. And let's go back to the hotspots and put that on and let's go ahead and select the first slice you see now they're all they're all sliced up first slice and we click on the behavior button or the behaviors button and you add a swap image and we're going to add the first one and we're going to go to file search for it and we're going to find that first one and we're going to click OK I'm going to repeat that Click on the Behaviors button, Add Swap Image Behavior. Click on the second one, click on the folder, find the file, click OK. Third, same thing. OK, four, same thing. Pretty repetitive. So that's pretty much set. If you want to put links uh, on these or attach a link to these slices, you could do that right below. But we're not going to do that. For this video, we're just going to show you how to do the slices and the rollover effects. So now that that's set, uh, let's click away from it and let's go to File, Export. We're going to export images in HTML and we're going to call this the, the Upstate. And leave everything else as default except for this video. I'm going to uncheck put images in subfolder because I'm going to keep everything in one folder. Then we click save. Now we go to file, preview in browser, and there we go. So let's go ahead now and put this navigation bar into Dreamweaver. So we open up Dreamweaver and we refresh that and we see all our images in there. 
And let's double click on the HTML file. And I'm going to show you what Fireworks creates. Fireworks creates all of this. Dreamweaver has nothing to do with this. Fireworks creates every single thing you are reading here, which is pretty cool because you think, well, Fireworks is like a, it's a graphics program. Yeah, it can create code too. It creates all the JavaScript and it creates uh, CSS and HTML. So pretty cool. And hit F12, save it, and here it is. Now, if you had a web page, an existing web page, and you wanted to insert it into the web page, you would go insert, you would go image, because we're actually importing images. Even though you see all this code here, you have to have the code, otherwise the rollover effects won't work. So you go to insert, image, fireworks HTML, you browse for it, and then you find that HTML file and you hit open and it puts it into the page exactly the way you're seeing it now just like this so yeah you can um, you can set up the alignment or whatever I'm not gonna go through all that now that's a whole nother video but if you have any questions please post them below um, and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up thanks for watching bye bye